12. Now, to see where that actually falls, you can go to uh, http colon slash slash www dot geobase dot ca. Now, this is where I get uh, all my road data from. Okay, go to uh, they've got the reason I go here is because they've got a good uh, a good uh, uh, NTS uh, base map here. Uh, so let's go to digital elevation data just because we can. Open that up. Go to download. Go to one to fifty thousand. Okay, so that was zero eighty two, which is over here. And it was J082 FGH FGHIJ 082J, and then you can see these files numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, in general, um, these files will uh, the the uh, last digit of the, that three digit code increases north to south the first two digits increase east to west there are a few exceptions to that when you get into the way far north but uh, as a rule of thumb that's uh, kind of a good way to figure out approximately uh, where in the country you are so 082, 083 and 084 cover most of Alberta 72, 73, 74 Saskatchewan 62, 63, 64, most of Manitoba, all the 05s and 04s are most of Ontario, 30s and 20s are kind of Quebec, and uh, the uh, the 10s and the 0s are uh, kind of the Maritimes there. Okay, so that should be able to uh, find any file that you want. You shouldn't need to, but as I say, I've had a few people uh, request this uh, information from me, so I thought I'd include it in the video. Now, one thing which I should simply mention uh, before I uh, close off here is uh, how to uh, how to get the maps actually onto the GPS. So, um, what you need to do is uh, select the area that you're interested in. So you zoom zoom right in to where you want. Okay, and. Uh, so we zoom right in. Okay. Uh, you can select bigger areas too, but of course the transfer will be slower and for the purposes of the video, it doesn't really matter what area we select. Um, I wouldn't recommend selecting everything at once because it will be excruciatingly slow. So I just select a relatively small area and I can go so transfer, oh, to select it, you want this button up here, the map tool, the kind of yellow looking polygon thing. Transfer, send to device, and uh, select uh, your GPS. Go send. Oops, apparently my maps, even though I selected a really small one, was too big. So let's make it a little smaller. Transfer, send to device. Okay, send. Building map set. Transferring it. So this takes a minute to uh, to transfer. You see, even for that relatively small uh, data set, it took a took a little while to transfer. This will be the same for any uh, map set. If you transfer a lot of sheets at once, you're going to have problems. Now you can transfer uh, you can transfer this map set along with uh, with other map sets as well. Like if you wanted to transfer some a metro guide along along the ride, you can select that as well. Uh, you just have to make sure that you keep them all selected. So you notice here on the left hand side, these up here are my topo maps. These are the metro guide maps. Okay, so you can transfer them both at the same time, and within the GPS there are options to turn on and off different map sets all at once. So uh, I'm not going to show that in this video, but it is uh, it is certainly a possibility. So then you can transfer that to the device. I'm not going to do it because I've already sent a few. So now if you look at the uh, device, uh, this is something which, uh, again, a few people I've uh, seen are interested in. You open up uh, the device, go to Garmin. Have a GPS that'll do this. That is, 
and you'll notice we've got uh, three files here that are .img files. Um, the, uh, the first one here, gmapbmap.img, that is for the Garmin base map. That's that worldwide base map that kind of gives kind of your basic level of detail um, worldwide on there. Uh, not really great, but it also allows you to see what country you're in. Uh, GMAP ROM, map with two pieces there. Uh, actually, GMAP programmable ROM, I think is it's short for. You notice that file is absolutely huge. It's over a gigabyte. Uh, that is for the uh, City Navigator North America 2009 maps. That's for preloaded maps, okay? And this file here is the one that we just transferred, gmapsup.img supplemental maps, okay? Now, you can take advantage of this. The reason I'm showing this to you, if you don't have any uh, preloaded maps on your, on your, uh, on your GPS, um, you can quite often, if I wanted to, uh, to uh, save a whole bunch on there and then go transfer a whole bunch more but not have them overwrite. See, under normal circumstances, when you transfer a new map set, it will overwrite the one that's on there. Um, if you don't want that to happen, you can come here and you can rename this file here, this gmapsup.img. If you rename it to gmap with two Ps, rom.img, a lot of GPSs will uh, will interpret that as a built-in map, and then it'll render that, and then it'll also render your gmapsup.img. If gmap rom doesn't work, try gmap bmap.img. Okay, and that should get you uh, a fair, fair uh, degree of flexibility in how you run your uh, GPS. So I hope that answers most of the questions uh, that people have uh, been presenting with me uh, me with. If you have any qu any questions, please give me an email um, and uh, let me let me know. I'll see what I can do. Now, uh, if you don't hear back from me, try again. I have a pretty strict uh, junk mail filter that uh, rejects a lot of a lot of emails. Um, but uh, try and give your uh, emails a descriptive subject line, and uh, I'll do what I can. Thanks.